up? I am Cool Card. I'm back again, just like I told you I would. Fresh out the gym. You see me? Showed up like that, but it's all good. I'm here to give you something that you can take back with you. Today, I want to show you how to replace the hard drive cable on a MacBook Pro. I have a MacBook Pro 13 inch, and the hard drive cable is taking a dump on me. Okay, so when I boot it up, I see a little flashing folder with a question mark in the middle. So if you've seen that, then you may be familiar with what I'm about to do. Or you may be wondering, what is that and how can I fix it? A lot of the times it's just simply the hard drive cable and not your hard drive. I was told it was my hard drive, I replaced the hard drive, same thing. So I know for a fact it is the cable. I'm gonna replace the cable out and you can purchase the cable online for about 30 bucks and you can get the original part that has the little Foxconn logo on it. And uh, I'm going to show you how to do it. Let's go, cool. Okay, so I have the back off already, so I figured I wouldn't put you through that. It's just uh, taking out a couple screws. But I have a Phillips screwdriver here. Well, what used to be a full, <laughs> but I have like a little piece of the left. But we're going to make this work. I have a little flat head screwdriver, so I'm going to need this to take off one ribbon right here uh, once you see when I take it off. But let's get started. First and foremost, the first thing you always want to do is before you do any work is disconnect the battery from the motherboard. So you just want to pop this up so there's no power running through this device. You don't want to short anything out or fry anything. All right, so we're going to start off by taking the screws off of here. Actually, you know what? We'll start by flipping a little ribbon off of there. It goes right into there. You just take it off like that. All right, so we're going to remove these screws. Real quick, boom, boom, boom. Get that out. Well, I'll loosen these, but I'm gonna take this one off first. But we do have to take this side off to get to a part of the ribbon and replace it. All right, so we wanna take this off first so we can get the drive out. As you can see, well, these machines, they come with a mechanical drive. I replaced it with a solid state. It's no spinning gears or anything like that. So less risk of uh, hard drive failure when there's no spinning gears. And we could just take this up out of here like so. And I need to put my little brackets on here. You see, I didn't even put the brackets on to hold it in place good, so I need to, need to do that. But we're gonna disconnect the drive like so, real simple. Put that to the side. And there's other screws right here that you're gonna have to take off. So let me finish this real quick because you have a piece right here going up under here that connects. So real simple. All right, here we go. It's pulling out. All right, here we go. And this is just stuck to here with adhesive, like you'll see on the new one. So we'll pull this up like so. Then let's unscrew these. Gonna need a real small. Fill up screwdriver to get these screws. These screws are tiny. But yeah, real simple, guys. Real, real simple. Let me move my hands. You can see the screws that I'm unscrewing. All right. So I'm going to pull this up. That adhesive off of there. So the next thing you're going to want to do is get that flat. I don't know if you can see that. It's a little ribbon right there. We're gonna have to pull it from out of there. So you take a flathead and just kind of pop it. All right. So I got it out. You can see this little ribbon thing here. And then you want to take, you want to remove this little piece right here. I don't know if you can see that. It's a little piece right here that connects to this. And it's just stuck on with some adhesive. You just want to peel it up and take it off. So there you go. I don't know if I'm in focus. But here you go. Here's the old one. All right, here's the old one. This says Apple on it. The one I have says Foxconn, but we know that they use uh, Foxconn to build the iPhones and a lot of their products. Let's do this. Let's connect this back to here. 
Actually, first, let's put this ribbon in here. Let's do that, because that is the little tedious part. Put this down. Put the ribbon back in. Get that ribbon to snap in there. All right, I got it in there. Cool. Good stuff. It's in there pretty good. Gonna take the adhesive off and then we're gonna tape this to the back of that. Like so. Fits it fits right into place. Just like that. I think I'm gonna put this back in first, and then we'll take the adhesive off of this and lay that down. Put that in, and then we're done pretty much. We're going to connect this and see if this thing boots up. Connect this back. Put that in place. Now we should be good. Let's see. I thought it was charged. Here we go. Do you see that apple? And do you see it loading? Come on, load up. There you go. Bam. And it's all good. Replaced. And it's all good. All right, that's been another one from All Cool Stuff. Quick fix it tip. Hope you guys can, uh, I hope you guys were able to follow along. Uh, we should be back in business. We should be up and running. So I thank you for tuning in. It is Cool Card, and I shall be back again. I appreciate you guys tuning in every time I, I post a video. And I appreciate the love, appreciate the likes, and I appreciate the views. Check me out next time. It's cool.